did you ever think that you are getting many rejections for scholarships because of some mistakes you do in your motivation rater so you never give a convincing motivation rater that will convince the selection committee that you are better student your grade your grade your experience are okay but there's something that is missing that's the one which make a difference in this scholarship application journal that's a motivation rater an average student who is or she is able to make a nice motivation rater win scholarships more than one and you you don't get it you don't get any scholarship that's something we are now going to talk about in this video i'm going to see how to make a winning motivation rater for scholarship in this video i'm going to teach you how to correct some common mistake that many students make in their motivation rater writing let's see the common mistake you have to avoid in your motivation rater writing first mistake you make two pages three pages four pages that's a very very boring motivation rater never give those boring motivation raters give a short motivation rater one page is enough one page is enough if you really want to give more information don't go for more than one page and a half someone will read one page second page third page no one will care so and they will not get you where so make sure your idea are now in a short uh, few paragraphs and you explain everything correctly uh, you will see on my motivation letter i will share with you at the end of this video you will see how to make a small one page motivation letter and that's possible that's first mistake never make two pages three pages motivation letter second writing a motivation letter with many sparing mistakes if you start reading a motivation letter find sparing mistake and then you'll be discouraged so there is there is nothing that is pushing someone to check more what you wrote and be after so make sure you write your motivation on time do a proofreading ask people to read for you with different background who are good in english than you then you make a motivation letter without any kind of sparing mistake another mistake you have to avoid is getting uh, some irrelevant information know what you put in your motivation letter don't give a list of what you studied we don't give a list because a list of what your professional experience because you have a cv you have a form so don't give all those information which are not related to the program it's okay you make a story you will see on my motivation letter it's a kind of a story my story but make that story narrow to the program what they want that's a mistake i want you to correct before we check which uh, structure and what you have to add in your motivation letter don't make some those generic or general motivation letters so send someone make a motivation letter and that motivation letter is for all programs so make it specific every scholarship you are applying make its own motivation letter name repeat the name of the program name of the scholarship everything so make a specific motivation letter so we're doing a motivation try to make a story and make a story on a point make sure everyone reads your motivation letter with it. this is the guy it's not from chat gbt it's not from google no one make this for him or for her so let's see what are the structure of the motivation letter and what they expect to be in your motivation letter you can have a nice structure but without necessary information you can have good information but with a long uh, wrong uh, structure so both goes hand in hand let's see your motivation have to have three different parts first is introduction third one second is you the body of your motivation letter and what you can call a conclusion 
or a closing paragraph. Those are three important. For introduction, it's only one paragraph, which doesn't have to be more than four to three lines. For the body, you can have three paragraphs, three to four paragraphs. And each paragraph have to have its own information. Then conclusion, it's just uh, appreciating the time they spend on your motivation letter. Then say that you hope that you will hear from them. Then you say, sincerely, you write your name down. What information you have to put in your introduction? Introduction is opening paragraph. Just start shining. What did anyone expect is a greeting for someone who is going to read your motivation letter. Second is introduce yourself in an easy and nice way. Third one is why you are applying, you are writing that motivation letter. You either applying for scholarship, program, or admission, then you specify what are you doing. Give in a full name the name of the scholarship or if it's a program, which program. If it's both, give them both in the, your introduction. Second, third one, if you want, also say where you think you are a best candidate in just one line. So you will see on my motivation later, uh, at the end of this video, you will see how to express this. Then once you make that nice introduction, anyone can be interested to read your motivation letter. The next part of your motivation letter is the body. What do you have to put in your body? Explain where you want the program, where you are suitable to the program, and explain your career plan or your future career from that program. Then once you give all those information where well explained, you move to the conclusion. Conclusion, it's opening paragraph. One paragraph with at least three lines. You do things that they give consideration to your, your application, your motivation letter, and say that you are looking forward. You hope that you will get from them in future and you are able to give your contribution or to enjoy the program. Then you end up by saying sincerely, then you write down your name and your motivation is done take your time read your motivation letter ask some people to give you advice then make a nice motivation letter uh, in this this ring you see now in the description is my motivation letter you can check the motivation letter you can use it as reference you can share it with your friends so i give it for free for anyone who follow my video you will find the link down in the description and please start prepare, preparing your motivation letter on time.